Hello everyone, it's Thrawn Builds and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about minifigure scale LEGO Jedi Starfighters from Brick Vault. The Brick Vault Delta 7 and Delta 7B Starfighters in LEGO form. These Starfighters were originally painted white and red for diplomatic immunity, but the Jedi quickly customized them and soon no two Delta 7s were alike. Today we're going to start by going through the actual ship the Delta 7, then talking through all of the minifigures that I would pair with the Brick Vault set if it were to actually come from LEGO, and then we'll wrap it off by comparing it to other real LEGO sets and Brick Vault versions. First, I want to thank Lewis Kiwi for the design. Um, he's a Brick Vault designer from New Zealand. He created the model. So some background again behind the ship. This was piloted by Obi-Wan Kenobi in the movie but it actually in the Clone Wars was piloted by all of the Jedi, and it's not to be confused with the later version of the ship, the ETA-2 Actus class light interceptor, which were upgraded to because of their hyperdrive. My personal favorite scene though still comes from Attack of the Clones, where Obi-Wan is fighting Jango Fett in the asteroid field. Let's talk about the actual ships though from Brick Vault. So Obi-Wan Starfighter of course is equipped with R4, and Anakin Starfighter, of course, equipped with R2-D2 in the correct positions, um, which are not in the same spot on the two Starfighters. They do have the Republic-era logo on the side of the Starfighter and their blasters up front as well. They also have landing gear that retracts under the ship and both engines in the back. If this is your first Brick Vault build, just know that it's a little bit more fragile than LEGO. So because of this, the Starship is probably going to fall apart on you a few times while you build it, but just use that as an opportunity to really understand how the build comes together so you can put it back together even quicker. Let's look at some details. just kind of fall apart on me and then I'd put a couple pieces back together. They sort of come together in a few sections so even if it falls apart you just put together the section. If you want Anakin's Delta 7B which is the yellow starfighter it's gonna be about 75 to 90 dollars and Obi-Wan's Delta 7 red starfighter is gonna be about 100 to 120 dollars. So now that we've taken an actual look at the two starfighters how do they compare to Lego versions that are out? How do they compare to other Brick Vault models that are out? Let's take a quick look. And I'm also gonna be a little too honest and show you the bottom of my Starfighter. The Obi-Wan has a couple yellowed pieces in it. So I'll have to replace those at some point. All right, let's talk minifigures. This would not be a Thrawn Builds video without some figures. So if I were to create the set as a Lego set, this is what I would include. Obi-Wan and Anakin, of course, in their Starfighter Episode 2 outfits um, with the headset and the alternative face that looks upset. The second version of the set that I would include would be a complete Saga version, of course, with the Kreisto 7108 custom molds uh, for lightsabers. And my Obi-Wan actually has a misprint face too, so he's kind of looking to the side. The third version of figures I would include would be the most modern. So we've got the Visible Confusion, Obi-Wan, and the Gunship Anakin. And then the last version would be some classic figures. So I've got the Beck Obi-Wan and the just classic 2002 Anakin. And here's a quick look at them all together. What a good looking fig lineup. Let me know if you were buying this as a set from LEGO, which figure pack you would want. And before we get into reviewing the size of these Brick Vault versions versus LEGO versions, this is what that figure lineup looks like next to the two Starfighters. So the first set that we are going to compare the Starfighter to is the Jedi Starfighter and Slave One Mini 4487 released in 2003. And then we've got the most recent 75333 Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter 
released 2022. So the Lego Jedi Starfighter released recently is about the same size, but it does use stickers rather than being all brick built. And then let's get the largest Lego Jedi Starfighter version that they've released, the UCS 10215 Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter released in 2010. This is definitely the largest one, but it is not minifigure scale like the Brick Vault version. And there we go, I've set the Brick Vault version on top. It's a lot smaller than the UCS version. Then we can compare it to the Brick Vault TIE Fighter. It is a lot smaller, but again, they're both minifigure scale in universe. And then we can also compare it to the later version of Obi's ship, the Interceptor with a hyperdrive. And again, when comparing all of the models of the Starfighter, I think the UCS version definitely stands out as a display piece. But if you want the playability, I would definitely go with the Lego version because it's not going to break on you. And if you want the best looking version, still in scale, I'm going to recommend the Brick Vault version. And of course, what kind of review would this be if we didn't break out the UCS Slave 1 for a size comparison? So the official Lego Slave 1 is much larger than the Starfighter, and it is generally in minifigure scale, so it plays really well with the Starfighter. I can't wait to build Django's Slave 1, uh, the recolor, when they release it, and recreate that asteroid field scene. And then compared to the 2013 Republic gunship, which is the most recent gunship, Here's what they look like. They flew beside one another in the Clone Wars series. They look great together. The color scheme totally matches. Also, one of my favorite simple details about the cockpit of this Starfighter is the use of the old classic pistol pieces. Now, I would be remiss if I did not bring up one specific non-canon version of this Starfighter. Anakin's Azure Angel or Custom Jedi Starfighter. Like I said, at the beginning of the Clone Wars, um, when these were made, all of them were red and white uh, for diplomatic immunity. Anakin went ahead and customized his, threw some big engines on there, made it way faster, and totally customized it with a new paint job. And soon, all of the other Jedis followed suit and customized their own Starfighters. Well, hopefully you've heard the words Jedi Starfighter enough today. I make LEGO Star Wars content, and subscribing tells me that what I'm doing doesn't suck. So uh, thank you so much. What Brick Vault set do you want to review on next? It's been Thrawn Builds. Thanks.